um, initial thoughts on the first scrimmage? I'm pretty pleased. You know, um, a lot of inmates, especially after we, we started getting to the twos and threes, and uh, just explain that to the guys, you're, you're not going to climb the depth chart making mistakes, right? Um, but I, I did see some really good plays on both sides of the ball. Um, I was very happy with the defense getting pressure on the, on the quarterback today. And uh, I thought defense had, had some really, really nice stands there, especially once we got down in the red zone. And then on the flip side of it, I thought uh, offensively, we had some uh, explosive plays in the run game and in the passing game. So overall, a good day. And, uh, you know, scrimmages like this are always difficult to, to judge because you're going ones, twos, threes, ones, twos, threes, you know, so it's hard to get into rhythm. Um, but the, the one thing we must clean up um, in, in, in the twos and threes is their mistakes. That, that's got to be cleaned up. Big physical receivers made some catches. And yeah. Contested too. Yeah, you know, uh, Curtis DeVille had an unbelievable catch down here in the end zone. Um, but it, just what you said is he's a real big physical receiver. He's got great hands. Um, I just got to keep him in attack mode 24-7 because he doesn't know how good he can be. He's got a lot of talent to him. Um, really, really, really thankful he's here with us. And um, Jermichael, Jermichael Carter did, did a great job today, makes some big plays downfield. And uh, then another new receiver, Jesse Campbell, another big physical receiver that uh, made some nice catches down the field. So, you know, we, we, we've got some weapons. We just got to clean up some things, right? You, you can't have negative plays. And that's, that's what we've been talking about uh, all offseason is keep ahead of the chains. You know, don't you, you can't have a holding penalty in first down. Now you're looking at, you know, first and long and put you in third and long situations. But um, also really pleased with, with the two backs who went today. You know, I, I thought uh, Joe Sean had a really good scrimmage. And then Bryce Strong, another newcomer, he's a lot like Joe Sean. You know, he's, a, he's a, not the biggest guy in the world, but uh, he's physical. Um, he can flat out run. He's got great hands. Seemed like the, the defensive line was getting after the quarterback and being able to stop the run a little bit more. Yeah, I think uh, I think the D line up their game today. You know, and uh, you know sometimes in practice, uh, you know, we're hard on them because they can lull to sleep in practice a little bit. All this is practice, but you know I think they they raised the uh, the bar a little bit today. So I, I just told them the same thing. I expect these same reps just like this all week for the rest of spring. But uh, yeah, I thought Stephen Johnson made some big plays early. Was in the backfield and then um, off the edge there. Marcus White, he's a handful now. Um, another guy that I'm, I'm thankful he's here with us because. You, you got a game plan against that guy. That I was, would. Um, go ahead. Oh, that was what you were looking for, especially after last year, was a, an improved defense. Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, we, we didn't have enough pressure on the quarterback a year ago, and obviously we struggled stopping the run game. So that, that's two areas that, uh, again, we, we spent a lot of uh, a lot of resources and, and uh, scholarships trying to, to fix that, that issue. How is 6-13 and 13 hitting the receivers in stride? Um, uh, Making making the right throws. Of the yeah, I think we missed a handful of passes, both of them, just off target some. But I uh, also thought both of them threw a couple of deep balls that were right on the money. So uh, just looking for consistency right there at that, that position, right? You want you want your quarterback to be very consistent and and then have the ability to to make the big plays when when they present themselves and and not force the issue. And uh, that's probably you know I, I thought I'll see after watching the film, but I thought those first couple of drives, both those guys are trying to force the issue, and you know you're not, not going to come out there and, and first play hit a 80 yard touchdown pass. You know that that thing will happen when it's presented to you. The, the one thing is though, you did have explosive plays both in the running game and the passing. It seemed like uh, you opened up a little more things on the outside, trying to get guys on the outside and use some speed. Is that a well, yeah, you know, I tell you, another person that's having a really good spring right now is Jonathan Harris. Um, is doing a really good job. But no, we, we got a lot. Look, our freshmen have grown up a little bit. You know, they they were big guys to begin with a year ago. Now they've added some size to them. Then we added two really big receivers on the outside. And then with John Doe being there in the slot, we got speed in the slot right there. Uh, so it is allowing us to kind of make some plays on the perimeter and, and maybe free up the edges at times. And uh, you know, but right now. We do have the ability to go sideline to sideline, and, and uh, we got a couple quarterbacks can make every throw, which that, that makes it fun. You're going to have to lean on that number one offensive line. Are they, oh, are yeah. they coming into shape? Is yeah, it yeah. Effective? Really happy with that group right there. And I tell you, what we've added on the defensive side is just going to make that unit that much better. You know, again, Marcus, that speed off the edge right there. Jordan Allen had a few plays a day. Another outside linebacker that's got a great pass rush. So, you know, competition makes everybody better, right? And uh, so I, I think our offensive line is doing really, really good. Um, but I think in the trenches right there where, where that competition is making both sides. I, I know it's very early, but are you seeing the depth where you need to see depth? Yeah, we got a couple positions we're, we're still concerned about, really. Um, you know, I, I get I get a couple of these running backs back on the field and he healthy, but, you know, they, they're coming off surgery, right? Um, that's D'Lo didn't go today, he didn't go live, and then Colby Ham didn't go live today. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're being careful with those guys, but we need depth in that room for sure because uh, it's a long football season and, and you always need a handful of running backs. I feel uh, Jim or Rick mentioned the physicality of the receivers. How do you feel about that receiver core this year? 
I'm excited about them. I, I think uh, we made some blocks on perimeter today, but I think we missed a handful as well. So, um, you know, you're never happy with that, right? You, you always want those guys to be great blockers downfield. And uh, we've been preaching that. Coach Smith's been doing a good job with them, but I, I did see some missed blocks today. Is that kind of running game, or are you looking for that, that elusive guarding quick kind of running game? Well, I mean, we, we definitely want to spread them out, right? Spread them out and take advantage of numbers, you know. But, um, you know, I, I think Joe Sean kind of proved today that he can hit it in between the trenches, and he's also a perimeter guy. He's a perimeter threat, you know. So, um, yeah, we, we, we like the, the the running back that uh, you can move around even in the slot, you know, but is a physical tough runner inside. He can be very good. He can be very good. He, he, he is an awesome story. I mean, he really is just an awesome story with him.